today's video we are going to be trying the InnoCell burlap coaster i'm really excited about this so if you want to see how it turns out just keep watching if you're new to my channel my name is leslie my channel is all about crafting on a budget i do sublimation cricket and sewing videos so if any of those things interest you please consider subscribing joining my youtube family and let's jump into this video so let's talk a little bit about the specs of this coaster it's a burlap coaster and it comes in a pack of six it they come in square or a circle and they come with a little case right there to put them in which is really nice and there's the circle ones it says they come with the base they're sturdy and soft and it's like a full burlap material so it's not like real burlap material and they are the base is 4.25 by 4.25 and the coaster itself is 3.98 by 3.98 in size so when you make your design you want to make it a little bit bigger than that so i would do maybe like 4.1 or 4.2 to give yourself some bleeding room so let's just jump into preparing our design for this and then setting it up so that we can sew on it. We're going to use the template that's on their website and just create a circle that's the same size as the one on the template. This is just going to let me put my design inside of the circle like a clipping mask. And then I'm just going to bring in the design that I'm actually going to use on the coaster. And then I'm just going to size it to however big I think I want it. And once I am done with that, I am just going to... Get rid of the template and then I am going to just export it as a JPEG. So all you need for this is your burlap coaster, your design, some heat tape, and some butcher paper. So it's super simple. I'm just doing some black lettering on it. So I'm just going to take my coaster. I'm going to just place it. And you can kind of flip it over and you should be able to kind of see a little bit through your paper to kind of see where you want it. And you can also just, I'm going to cut this a bit closer to my words just so that I have a better idea of, you know, where my design actually is. And once you have it where you want it, you can just take your heat tape. And just tape it to the front and then bring the tape to the back. And you can use your hand to kind of hold that paper in place so that it doesn't shift on you. Okay, just like that. So now just make sure it's where you want it. And then we can take it over to our heat press. Don't be afraid to use a lot of tape. Use as much tape as you feel like you're going to need so that your design does not shift on you. Don't be ashamed of using a lot of tape. It's better to use a lot of tape than to suffer the consequences later of it shifting and things like that. So let's take this to the heat press to press. So now we're gonna press our burlap coaster. I have butcher paper on the bottom to protect my heat press. Just in case it won't really go anywhere cause I don't have, I didn't create a design that had bleeding on it. I just created words. So we're gonna put it on our heat press with the paper facing up. I don't need any butcher paper because on top technically because this paper doesn't bleed out, but I am just gonna fold it over just because I wanna protect that burlap a bit. So it requires 360 degrees for 45 to 60 seconds. And it's medium pressure for this. Okay, so once it's done, I'm gonna take my heat glove I'm going to just take off one corner first just to make sure that it has pressed. And then you can just take off the rest of it. This is how much ink release I had. I think it turned out pretty cute. I don't know how color would turn out on it. You got to remember that sublimation ink is transparent. And so you have this brownish color. So that's going to affect whatever colors you put on it. But it is pretty cute and it's pretty sturdy. And these will make a cute like housewarming gift. Um, I really like how it turned out. It's going to join my other coasters on my dining room table. 
I hope you guys liked this video. I will have this link down below. Let me know down below if you guys tried it or what your favorite products from InnoSub are. And thank you guys again so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.